Well, so he, yeah, yeah. he is the IBF, and just in case you didn't know, you got to look at his hat, the IBF junior middleweight champion, E.J. Smith. A couple days away, your first title offense against Carlos Molina. How are you doing a couple days out? I'm good. Uh, Fine-tuned everything. Everything's ready to go. I'm really excited to be, to be defending my title. I can't wait. A lot was made about you being the first Las Vegas-born champion. How about being the first Las Vegas to defend his title in Las Vegas? I mean, uh, that's kind of a big deal as well. Yeah, I mean, at home, at the Pinnacle of Boxing, the MGM, a great casino, great resort. Uh, to be doing this, uh, setting all this history, you see why uh, Bernard is keep going. I mean, once you start making history, you just want to keep making it and keep going. And I'm very honored. Honored to be Las Vegas champion. Honored to be fighting here. I can't wait. Obviously, the key to you know, obviously the most important thing is winning on Saturday. Right? But like, uh, you're gonna be fighting from maybe the biggest audience maybe you've ever fought from, being in the venue, the card it's in. How important is it you to maybe to win over some of those non, you know, those casual boxing fans mm -hmm. to make them want to see, you know, maybe the next time they lose their fights on Showtime, make them want to see Ishe Smith on, you know when you have your next defense? I, I, I think uh, it's very important to just come out and set the tone to win. And uh, whatever they feel the need to think about me, I can't control. I hope, Hopefully I, I garner some new friends, but my goal is to go out and set the pace and, and win the fight and have them say and still at the end, and that's what I'm focused on. Carlos Molina has been a guy, a long-known spoiler type of guy. A lot of people think he may beat Chavez twice. Obviously, you saw he did the Kirkland in that controversy in that mm -hmm. fight. Obviously, uh, he, he brings something to the table you're going to have to deal with on Saturday night. Talk, mm -hmm. talk to him about uh, Carlos Molina. Um, everybody say what he did with Kirkland. He was on the, yeah, he may have got a bad, just bad situation at the end by uh, having a fight stop, but people forget he got, he, was, he got dropped. You know, that's why he was in that situation, because he just had got knocked down. And we don't even know if he would have got out of those last two rounds. Um, you know, my job is just to go out there and fight my fight. Um, I'm not Chavez Jr. I'm not none of those guys. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a world champion. I'm Ishe Smith, and I have to go out and fight and be myself. I can't worry about who he's fought in the past. A lot's been made about what it took for you to get here, and you're very emotional when you, when you won your title. Mm -hmm. You have like a fear of a letdown because of you know you, you got there. I mean, you have a, a fear, you have a fear of a letdown. I mean, you're probably in tip-top shape now and mentally ready, but you know because no. of what it took for you to get here. Uh, you know, whenever you get to the mountaintop, you want to stay there. You know, um, so we I've trained really hard. We put in the work necessary to get here. And no, I mean the biggest the biggest pressure was the pressure in Detroit. This isn't no pressure. I mean, you fighting a champion in his hometown, a guy that had been champion for a while, and a guy that had held that belt for a while, and to be going to his backyard and take the title, I mean, that was, a lot of pressure was riding on that. So, uh, this right now is just, I'm at home, I'm, I'm comfortable, and I'm excited. A lot that's been made about uh, fighters, they win that championship, they're 15, 20, 25% better. What is putting that red belt, how much has that made you a better fighter, putting that red belt around your waist? Just being called a champion has made me uh, better. And I think you're going to, I know you're going to see a better fighter in myself come uh, September 14th. I'm excited to be uh, defending my title and putting that, representing the IBF, Putting that title around me means the world, and it means everything. I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity. Two last questions. The uh, the fight was originally scheduled for a couple months back. Mm -hmm. Did the stop and start that, that affect you at all? Actually, it was better. Uh, honestly, you know, it gave me time to. Uh, obviously, getting cut wasn't a, a better situation, but uh, you know, it gave me time to to heal up and uh, to put in more time, work on some things with my trainer Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. And I, it has benefited us, and I'm, I'm really sharp right now. I'm really excited to go out here and defend my title. Well, we will see you Saturday night, about 15 feet away from the MGM Grand in the arena. We wish you best of luck, and Thank you. see you Saturday. Thank, Thank you. you.